How do you get a minimap? Furry eboy, what's the link to that minimap? Wait, is the minimap even allowed on Hypixel? What mod is this minimap mini on the top mod? left? Please how can you get the center your mod folder? Wait, is the minimap even allowed on Hypixel? The mini map? I thought minimaps were bannable. <sighs> it's not bannable. We're gonna make a video about it right now. So can you please stop asking me in Twitch chat what mods me and Furry Eboy use? Twitch link in the description, by the way. I'm probably streaming right now, so go say hi and drop a follow. Damn, that was a smooth plug. This comment has been plaguing our comments and our streams for the past few weeks, and we've had this question pop up everywhere, and we've been waiting for the right time to make a video about it, and now is the right time. This video is going to be a very long one, so for the first time ever, we are both making this video. Furry Eboy will cover the mods, and I will cover the texture packs and websites. Join under 50k gang and subscribe because we're so close to 50k subs. Okay, back to the video. Anyway, this video is already going to be long enough, so first, the mods. To use any of these mods, you're going to want the newest version of Forge, and I'll leave the link to that in the description. Just install it, run the jar, and it'll install. This also means you're going to have to stop using Bad Lion or Lunar or whatever client you're using. Let's face it, they're not that good, and you're just using them because you're lazy. As with Forge, the links to every mod we mention here will be in the description in the order they appear in the video. Okay, so this first mod is something you should always use, not just for Skyblock, but everywhere. It's called Patcher and it's made by legendary mod maker Skier. It fixes most of the bugs in 1.8.9, gives you full bright so you can see in the dark, and improves your performance a lot by fixing lag related bugs. It also had other things including friends, messaging, removes the loading screen between worlds, allows you to customize the volume of specific sounds to make the bonzo staff shut up, stackable chat messages so you don't get spammed, and... Um, questionable looking charismatics alongside many other things that you'll discover using the mod. Skyblock add-ons is the de facto mod for Skyblock. Everyone with a client uses it, everyone with Forge uses it, everyone uses it, and for good reason. Developed by a Hypixel helper, it features tons of features and is currently updating to include a bunch of dungeons features, including, yes, the dungeons minimap we've been using all week. In the official Hypixel rules, it states that minimaps are bannable, but this refers to the minimaps showing blocks around you and not an official map that the game literally gives you. It falls under the category of information a player already has displayed on screen, and Jayaverman has even stated that he would include it on screen if that was an option he had. Other features include a glowing effect to see your teammates through walls like 1.9 and above, changing the glow color when a teammate's health is low and indicating to the healer when a teammate is low and also indicating where your healing circle is. In trauma. Can you tell Biscuit is a healer? Currently, the dungeon's features are still in development and are only available to people who boost his Discord server or support him on Patreon, but it will be released for free when it's finished in a week or so. Not Enough Updates, <laughs> great name, is a new mod I haven't covered before. If you've ever played a mod pack, you're probably familiar with the Just Enough Items mod that shows the recipes for all items on the side of your inventory, and Not Enough Items is that but for Skyblock. You can see the lowest bin, average auction house, and recipes for all items, as well as open the wiki page for each item in-game. Other features include quick commands in your inventory, show you how much profit or loss you will get from a dungeon's chest, a profile viewer, and most impressive in my opinion, is the custom auction house menu that you can access anywhere and is way better than the default one. The only downside to this is the fact that it can cost some lag as the mod is still in beta, but a lot of lag can be stopped by enabling item caching in the settings. Apex is the newest of these mods. It completely revamps your Skyblock GUI by removing the scoreboard on the right and instead displaying information along the bottom and top left and right of your screen in an organized fashion, making Skyblock truly feel like an MMORPG. It's early in development and lacks some customization features, but I honestly prefer how clean everything looks. It takes a bit of getting used to, but the only downside I can think of is the fact that there is no chroma. 
Starblock Extras is a paid mod that implements trackers and other features that Starblock add-ons currently does not. Although many features tend to get added to Starblock add-ons, the Starblock Extras team tend to implement features faster. My favorite feature right now shows you the quality of dungeon's items rated from 1 to 50, with 50 being the best and 1 being the worst. It helps you see if the gear you got is good or not at a glance in your inventory and on the auction house, so you can buy the best possible gear without having to spend millions on top quality items. Another mod some people use is known as Chat triggers and has a bunch of modules you can install that do things like add the dungeons glow if you don't want to buy SBE or SBA as well as loot trackers and um auto boop I personally don't use this mod though finally optifying is a mod and you already know what it is and what it does I do not recommend getting the newest version as it breaks both textures, but you're going to need this mod if you want to see any of the texture packs listed in the next part of the video. Starblock texture packs give Starblock items custom textures. I think by now everyone has seen one of these and you either love them or hate them. There's four I'm going to cover today and the ones that have custom item textures have a version for old and a new Optifine depending which version you're using. Imperial's patch is the classic patch that comes in both 16x and 32x version depending on taste. It's made by a large team and gets updated frequently to give every single item a custom textures. I'm using it now and this is the style of the item textures. Furfistai is the newer patch that a lot of YouTubers have been using. It only comes as 16x, but the trade-off is that every item has a clean and mostly animated texture. It's a personal choice whether you use Furfus Tie or Imperial to fit your usual texture pad, or just what you like to see in Minecraft. Vanilla Plus is yet another pad that changes items to be custom in vanilla style, as well as changing potion textures if you're in the newest version of Optifine. It's a totally different style. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's an option if you like the vanilla aesthetic. This pad you can use with any other pad. It changes the textures of dungeon secrets, like making bats a brighter green so you can see them, makes dispensers red so you can avoid traps, makes vines blue so you can see them against leaves easier, and makes cracked stone bricks a lighter blue so you can easily see destroyable walls in rooms. Definitely recommend this if you want to learn secrets easier. Finally, there's a lot of external websites or spreadsheets that will help you. T-Blaze Warrior T's minion spreadsheet features calculators for all minions, updating in real time to show you the best minion. Fun fact, this is the fifth time we've mentioned this in a video, and last time we made a video about it, we crashed the website for a few minutes, so let's hopefully do that again. Clown's TOL spreadsheet is another useful spreadsheet for showing you the cheapest talisman for you to get next. Calculating your net worth, showing you how to get cheap enchanting and alchemy levels, and constantly updates with new features. I feel like this spreadsheet needs a lot of appreciation, so go and crash this Google Drive page too. Gumball Guides is a website with an instant talisman optimizer that shows you the best reforges for your weapons and swords. Style Layamo is an unfortunately discontinued website that has a beautiful profile viewer where you can look up anyone in the game and get their inventories and stats at a glance or in detail. Everyone has heard of this so I don't need to say a lot. Auctions.craftlink.xyz is an auction viewer website where you can view your auctions from your phone and look up average item prices and snipe auctions going below average. It's really useful if you want to make profit or auction flip. BazaarTracker.com is another website that shows you good bazaar flips, historical data for item prices, price differences, and more nerdy date. Skyblockauctions.com is made by the creator of Bazaar Tracker in the same style but for auctions. Skyblockmpcs.meddoes.dev, amazing domain, truly memorable automatically updates with every single NPC and their skin, so you can use it for yourself if you really want to. And Stablord.meddoes.dev, by the same guy, has leaderboards of everything from potato collection to death. Speaking of which, how the hell did this guy get 16 million death? Honestly, I could lose hours looking at some of the stupid leaderboards on this website. And that marks the end of our longest video yet. 
Hopefully it wasn't too bad, and if I've missed any links or you have your own mods that we've missed, then share them in the comments, and if they're good, I might add them to the description. Any issues, leave a comment and I or someone else friendly will help you with the installation and setting up the mods you want to use. So stop using your clients and join the hashtag Forge Gang because Forge Gang best gang Colin sunglasses Colin. <laughs> what did you just make me say?